Good morning everybody. It's been a while since my last vlog. My last one was at Wasdale Head, Kirkfell, Great Gable. You know, absolutely raining quite heavily. This morning we've got fog. It's not particularly thick and it's rolling in and out. But I've waited for a while for some foggy conditions in this local woodland where I've come to. It's only a stone's throw from our house. I've come out with dogs this morning. Let them have a run. It's just a little bit different. The thing with fog is it, it diffuses the background. So in this messy woodland situation here, you can find a focal point or a subject for your image and everything behind it will be softened and it's not quite as messy, all that background then is not as messy and there's still some lovely colour on these trees these birch trees some, still some lovely colour in them leaves bracken's obviously brown but some lovely autumn colours so because this fog's rolling in and out it's coming and going, it's thicker in places than it is in others. I might not be able to film myself taking the photographs, uh, but I will when I can, and I'll, I'll explain this morning as well what I'll do. Um, I'll try and explain a little bit about the settings that I'm using, or the photographs that I'm taking. So you can see what I do and how I do it, and obviously I'll show you images then afterwards. So I'll see you in a bit. far into this woodland before I've come across my first composition and it's a photograph or it's, it's the same composition that I took uh, last weekend, last Sunday morning when I were here with dogs again, only last weekend we'd got sun streaming through those trees um, this obviously this morning, Friday morning we've got this fog and it is actually lifting a little bit now as we speak so we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to hurry up with this, with this photograph right, but you can see how the fog is making the trees in the background soft I've got a lovely old beech tree here on my left hand side, I've got a smaller beech tree to the right of it and then I've got a lovely old oak tree over on this, hand, this right hand side and obviously it passed with all this colour leading away into the distance. Um, so I'm going to get this image now before this fog lifts anymore and then I'll talk you through the settings that I've got. I've focused on this big beech tree here on my left hand side, manual focus. Yeah I'm on. A sixth, a sixth of a second, I'm at f11 and my ISO is 100. Keep my ISO as low as I possibly can. Keep image quality as good as I can. To cut down all that digital noise. So I'm going to take that now. Okay, that looks pretty nice. It was completely different to that image that I took last weekend. But like I said, I'll show you them both so you can compare what one looks like with fog and one, what, what one looks like with bright sunlight streaming through a tree canopy.
Come. So this fog really is now blowing in and out of this woodland. There's not much left in it. There's still plenty of lowing, uh, laying in that valley bottom there just to me right. Um, but there's not much now in this woodland. There were five minutes ago. I've got a lovely photograph of this old oak tree here with its lovely sort of sweeping curve to it and those lovely old limbs stretching out both directions. Path running just behind it. There's some lovely colour behind it and it does make for a nice image. But when it was foggy, that fog diffused that background, made it a lot, a lot less cluttered, okay, a lot tidier. So I'm going to hang around for another couple of minutes, see if it blows back in. Um, if it doesn't, I'll show you both these images. I'll show you the one without the fog, and then the one that I've just taken maybe five, ten minutes ago, 
um, when there were a little bit of fog behind it um, but I'm running out of it now fog is, is clearly dissipating um, so if I do find anything else I'm gonna have to be quick in in taking it I can see a little bit of sunshine over there and all glowing on them houses in Drymthorpe uh, so sun's clearly breaking through and it's going to burn this fog off Dogs, come on. I've already photographed this. Excuse me, I'm eating a chestnut. I've already photographed this. I've already took a photograph of it. 10 15 minutes ago, it was foggy. But that fog, I think, has clearly disappeared now. I don't think it's going to come back. So it's nearly time for me to go. But I got a couple of images earlier on of this scene here. In particular, those three smaller trees there. So it's a mid ground and the bigger trees surrounding it. But what's also interesting is that little clump of baby trees. I don't know whether they're sweet chestnut or um, beech or what. They look like beech trees to me, but there's a lot of chestnuts on floor, so I'm not sure. But anyway, they look like baby trees surrounded by big trees. And they make for a nice image. So I'm going to get another couple of minutes and see what happens.
So that's it. I'm done. Fog's gone. It's clear. I'm going to go home now. I'm going to have a bacon sandwich, cup of coffee. It's been a lovely morning. I was out nice and early this morning, but 7 o'clock ish. Something like that. These three have enjoyed it. So that's it. I'm going to call it, like I said. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, tell me. If you have, like it. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much, everybody. That's it. Thanks. Bye.